Hello there, Sagittarius. Hope you're having a good day. You did or you will by the time this energy read hits you. Because you've been committed to a purpose. Something with value with that Taurus. Something you've been having ambition and targeting. That red with that bull. Taurus is a bull. Focus on uh, passion. Getting angry about it. Getting in your feelings. Loyalty. Love. Emergence. Emergence means something that was concealed and not is out. Or something that was right in front of you or in front of these people. Something about you and now it's out. I hope you seen that, did you? Okay, I know how to point it out. Okay. So, invite us to approach our reality with the childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment. And to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from this place. From that place. Conception is usually dealing with pregnancy, right? But here it says, invite us to bring our conscience to our organ. The place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinity potential and the possibilities of the space what we can manifest through our own focus, awareness, and intentions. Serenity supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that results in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us the to embrace, excuse me, the familiar so that new yet exciting co-creations it comes together with the new things you learn let that come together because we already let the old shit come together can give birth to a new reality hello party people hope you're having a good day Let's do these features with real quick. Some things I just pre-shuffled. But if you want to NG read with me, I can pull out all these cards. And these are facial features for $20. I'll name them as I go. So we got some woman. I haven't looked at these. I just shuffled the ones I don't put in reverse. Petite shape. Attractive. Dimples. Baby face. Fluffy hair. Pointy nose. <laughs> Street fashion. Dark eyes. Evil eyes. Dark eyes. I think that's the dark. Someone with blue eyes. Or maybe you would look good with those colors too. All right, boo. Let's get down to that money, honey. We don't read these in reverse. Yeah. You're taking care of business. Or oh, you'll be good at running someone else's business. Right? You got those doors open ready to, shit, go back and forth. Because we talked about in the last video how videos how all these doors are open for you. Y'all told you they all open, multitasking, even with the kids, if you have kids. Or maybe your project or your, you know, your business or, you know, taking care of what you do. Your job is like your baby. Yeah, sales. Maybe you need to think about something you could sell or you're trying to think of ways to enhance your sales or make time for more sales or a good schedule to work from home. Maybe you're working from home now and you can make your own schedule. Yeah. Maybe... You need to go on a job search. Get a negotiation. And save money.
or you got a job already, or you should consider a job working from home. Cause they all, they hired you quick. That's why you got a negotiation and you getting to save money. Cause I don't see nothing negative in this to say that you need to go look for a job. Let that resonate with you. Or a second job. So that's what you're multitasking. You could be multitasking just trying to build your own or mind your own fucking business and making huge decisions. And then you can have someone that's making sales. They could be dope or anything working from home. They need to go get a job. And uh, get an interview or get some kind of work going. A contract or however they make money. So they can save money. They, everybody's committing to some kind of purpose. Because you know why? gonna skip this love one and come back to it because someone is healing that's a Scorpio Taurus someone in the fix feeling about what they're going through because that's a fixed sign it takes that person knows a fixed sign Leo Aquarius they do not change Taurus Scorpio they don't change unless they want to change so now they change and they are happy that's five eight Five change and the people placing the things are they looking at things and they've been dedicated to understanding what they're going through they've been dedicated to understanding uh, how people are playing games with them or understanding what kind of people they choose to be friends with or seeing how these people really feel about them and psychologically probably getting it trying to prevent a tire moment So while this person over there healing, you kind of like going through a process of probably feeling overwhelmed or going things with connections of the world, you know. But you good with that money, honey, in your community or with your family or with whatever you're doing, you're balancing it, friend. So basically, people want a new love. This is what the purpose has been, new love. Getting rid of the dumb shit. Getting rid of people that manipulate and want to play games and play stupid. So we can have a new reality. You have a new reality. Fuck it. You do. You're an earth angel. Alien. Light worker, whatever you call yourself. Star C. So let's go to back to love. Yeah, somebody want to have sex with you? Mm. Sound emotional. Life without uh, you is hopeless, dark, depressing. I miss your light. I'm afraid to lose you. I, this love is crazy. I feel lonely. I want to be different. I can't promise you anything. I'm tired of this. I'm scared of rejection, right? That means this person probably only talk to people that talk to them, try to get with them. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, or they like to talk to people that they look better than. They like to talk to, to people that they can talk shit about and not getting that that's a handicap in the relationship why they're not going nowhere in, relate, in the relationship. So busy trying to be the only one that looks good or get the attention or making it or using people as stepping stones that time has been wasted. To me, that's why they can't promise you nothing. Because they're too busy. They can't promise you nothing because they're going through the steps. But this tower is bound to happen. 
So they've been uh, dedicated to some kind of stupid purpose. And now, I mean, they might be happy, but <laughs> it's not over. And we, we've been discussing in my last videos, if this person don't make it right, well, who? You. They gonna keep holding up. You know, I look at this as someone having to hold up bricks because of a punishment and their arms are getting tied. And it's like, you're overwhelmed. It's like, yeah, they healing. They happy. They probably feel the support, but they don't get, They maybe they thinking about it because this is a lot of, we got Scorpio Taurus out here again in reverse. Twice. But they want new love. I feel like what they don't get is that they need to balance things. If they are earth angel or they want to become or they close to one or whatever. They don't get. Uh, they need to stop fucking trying to be a magician in reverse. Stop trying to manipulate and be deceptive. That's what they don't get. That's why shit is coming to an end. And that's why you're going to have a new beginning, friend. Even with the money, honey, honey, honey. Well, I tell you, you balance over here. It's it's gonna happen. And then I feel like once it happened, this person gonna see it wasn't that hard to do. They already hurting. I just seen they'll be back when I was about to, I cut the deck when I was about to shuffle. Gordon Angel at the bottom. So, yeah, you've been committed to your purpose. What's valuable, your family, the pet, going to work, taking care of the car, making sure you have food in your motherfucking house, making sure your health is good, making sure you have your maintenance, making sure your house not getting dusty and, you know, trying to get what you need. Are you getting more of what you need? You deserve it. That's what you've been communicating. You've been communicating something about how you committed to what's, <laughs> what makes you happy. And this is what's making them happy. They're learning how to be happy looking at you. Yeah, what is this? What did I say? They don't want to move on. They want to be more emotional. They was emotionally unavailable. What about these third parties? What was they purpose and what they've been committed to. Okay, well, makes sense. So these third parties could be your family members and people that you left alone. So you got people that's on social media, people that you don't give a fuck to see, people that you're triggered by because those people are reminding you and constantly reminding you and might not even know it, even at your job or new people you meet. Maybe they constantly reminding you of what you don't want to go back to. And when you see people happy, whether you know them or not, or living the life that you would like to live or on TV or whatever it is, or whatever you have in your dreams, in your mind that you think about that keeps you going, yeah, that's what keeps you balanced. That's what keeps you going forward. And that's what those peasants and those sideshow bobs and those backstage dancers are for. And that's probably what your person is seeing. What's this tower in reverse? What are they trying not to break? But that's going to shatter regardless. What people are oh, trying to... Uh, they can't stop being deceitful. They can't balance it. Yeah. They're not reviewing everything. Ooh, they don't, they don't have their eye on you. So this person probably stopped spying on you, stopped looking at you, and they not doing their research. Scorpio Taurus or somebody that's fixated on some dumb shit. So maybe they think what they have to fix is really not what you need them to do. 
maybe you have good credit. You're like, man, you need to get your credit up, man. You need to care about your registration on your car. Get insurance. Like, for some of y'all, life insurance. Like, you're on a whole nother level. They might not get. Man, we, we eat at a certain time around here, and we wash dishes every night. You know, we, we, uh, we don't just save whatever in front of our fucking kids. You can't just come around here with your pants around your ass. Put your titties in your shirt. They not reviewing everything. Are you not? Re I don't think it's not you. People are not reviewing everything about you. And they about something. They not reviewing everything about you. And they about to have a tired moment. This could just be people talking shit behind your back. They trying to resist a tired moment. Maybe you not reviewing everything. Trying not to have a tired moment. But you not manipulating. So you have someone trying to balance something they said about you. And they didn't review everything. Oh, so I guess this is what it is to me. In order for them to be with you, <laughs> it's going to have to take them to just say fuck with them other people, what they told them other people about you, and take on that moment of them taking on that heat from people saying, man, are you serious? You really loved her the whole time? I had a guy that worked at my job. His name was Michael. And it was this girl. She had a bad attitude. And she never would speak. And she wore her hair in the same style. till it was wearing out. She worked at the front desk. We worked at a hotel. And we worked. I did customer service um, in another department. So, basically, she used to walk by and not speak. And they used to be like, oh, she's so fucking rude because I work with guys. And uh, I worked inside, they worked outside. But the point was, they would come in and tell me when she walk in, when she had to be to work, how much cake of makeup. Because you could tell, you know, she had been in an abusive relationship. But uh, you could tell maybe she had dark, she, her face was real beat up, you know. Uh, I don't know if those bruises was old or new, but sometimes that shit stick. But she had... Uh, cake of makeup and a bad too but the guy would talk about her makeup and stuff and uh she wasn't very attractive but this about this motherfucker michael wound up getting with her and had a baby and i seen him just two years ago he so he didn't gain a lot of weight i was working with his brother his brother bigger than him and all this, and then he said my name. I'm like, excuse me, do I know you? And he said who he was, and we old as fuck now, because I was in my 20s then. I'm in my, I'm 42 now. And this motherfucker, not only do he still, is he still with her, because he's like a little flunky. Not only is he still with her, he say they living with her parents or his parents in two separate rooms. So this person probably, it's the other way around. This person probably went talking about how they can't stand you. Your hair look like shit. You, 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 uh, telling people you get on their nerves. You're crazy. You're controlling. You're mean. And now they gonna have to eat, bite the dust. Michael didn't care. Matter of fact, they was together at the, um, hotel. They started dating before we all split up. At the hotel openly, he was bringing her to work. They was a couple, baby. And then they started living together. But it's not worth it. But I don't feel like that was the issue with you. I just want you to get the energy that this person's going to have to take. See, Michael can do it. He can't. She can't. <laughs> Yes, honey, honey. Michael had the balls. He this this woman need to put her training bra back on. Well, fuck, she need to do. But for some reason, you, I mean, why? Somebody probably. I think I feel like somebody feel like you. They hoping you don't move. 
uh, they know if yeah, if this person know where you live, they hoping they can that you don't go nowhere where you stay. With I feel like it it will bother them if they did not know where you live to contact you completely. Yeah, you might got them blocked. Yeah, you might not be talking to them, but they know where you live, and that's enough security. So with this third party and whatever celebrating or gambling they were doing from your family and friends and them with their money, they happy family, that shit came to an end. You can have a Virgo, Pisces in your family that's e that uh that's physically or emotionally distanced from you, but either way. You, I feel like even if your person is emotionally or distant from you, and I don't think they're emotionally distant from you because we had sex in that love card. They physically distanced from you. And remember when I said this person hoping that you don't move. Because here your house is in reverse or wherever you live in or wherever you hanging out or wherever this, per this person have met you. I know they can contact you physically because they emotionally are distanced from you. Let's keep it going. To me, they want a ten of pinnacle. They want to make money. And they want to do things with you. People, places, and things with you. Not people, but do it. But you get what I'm saying. They want to have fun with you. Yeah. Oh, I feel like they them not reviewing everything. Their tower moment. Not only... These third parties that's gambling and shit. You don't want to have sex. They not going to know that you don't want to have sex with them no more. You're not into it no more. You don't want it. Because you know they've been having sex with other people. And that's the third parties. And you know they've been having unprotected sex. So you might not feel like you can go all the way with this person. Uh-huh, and who wants to have to watch what they do in bed? It's enough you got to put a condom on. You want to get out that stage. You want to um, be comfortable with someone at some point. Yeah, this water earth sign. Want a new beginning. And they want to push it to an end. But they manipulating. Being deceitful. Yeah, it's a yes. They put things to an end with these people. Oh, my bad. To me, they probably don't want to manipulate if they want this big ass cup. Duh. They really putting it into people that's manipulating. It ain't about shit. That's what they've been. Remember, they've been dedicating to realizing and doing their research who the fuck they, that's been in their energy. That was a good purpose for a change. Not just getting money. Something that's going to protect bitches from taking their money, using them for money, uh, trying to partner up because they have money, trying to uh, rob them because they have fucking money, trying to use their kids because they have money, have a kid with them because they have money. All of this shit is protection. Yeah, this person is in karma. Or these people are in karma that's manipulative. Because it's a yes to put this shit, honey, honey. To get this, this honey and get the fuck out of there. Get that money. Yeah, I said get that motherfucking money. This person emotionally distant from you. And they're around people with gambling and financial problems and shit. And that's what... To me, they gonna communicate a commitment or a purpose with you and what they've been going through with these shitheads. Let's get Gordon Angels. Damn, that new love is just coming and going. Can't believe we talking about this little shit again. 
telling them what to do. This person not playing about you. They energy strong. Codependency came in reverse. On top of becoming more emotional available, on top of being emotional, more emotional intelligent is what this person is healing towards. Codependency in reverse. That's what they're moving on from. They was emotionally unavailable. That's what they're healing from. Okay, so they're going to communicate to you about probably the codependency they've been going through with people trying to uh, codepend on them and they're healing and they are emotionally available. I have put that on the wrong slot. The codependency is what they're going to get over when they come and talk to you and they're going to have more of a purpose. And this is where they feel like it's worth the wait because they feel more emotional available and they're healing. Who have this this disturbed parties with this gambling problem and financial problems and addictions or they procrastinate and wait to the last minute to do shit. They take bricks on um, trying to say they didn't understand or they didn't know. It's time to disconnect from the world with these motherfuckers. It's how your person feel with these third parties or they want to disconnect, right? From gambling and financial problems and celebrate. That's why they feeling more emotionally healed. Who's not getting all their information and trying to avoid a time moment? Could be these third parties if it's not your person or you. That's not getting all their information trying to avoid a time moment by what? <laughs> third party <laughs> they have a gambling addiction problems if it's not a bunch of them you know it's this third party they um <laughs> they trying to build a tower moment they not getting all their information and they think your person is true love oh that's why the intimacy, they trying to balance and manage it with intimacy. And it ain't nothing like you, boo, because it's natural. It's not some shit you had to, uh, you know, it's like you you do your own thing in bed. You're not, you know, um, doing the, sh the thotty shit, the twerking. and the. You're really getting it in, friend. It's none of that bullshit. You're serious with this. It's none of that mechanical porn shit. It's not fake. Whatever it is, the sex ain't working or it's not as... They, they not reviewing everything, so they probably think the sex is... Uh, like, your person could be in there raw dogging or she could be in there doing flips on this bitch because in reality, she's trying to control and get something she wants. They not reviewing everything. So they probably like, oh, this is so good when your when your person just ramming it up there and getting it out the way. They not into it. Or this person might think that they really good in bed, or they a match for your person, and they're not. And they think that they could be your person true love, or that you know like maybe they think that your person um, is. They're like looking at them like they're in love with them because they're handling them in bed. But something is reversed with true love and in bed with the sexes in reverse. And they trying to avoid a time on So your person could be lying and saying things to them in bed uh, to avoid a time on Or that's what this person is doing. I think that they manipulating something they doing in bed. And it's karma. 
That's why there's no new beginnings. For this. So this person. Think your person is their true love. But the sex is horrible. Or the sex is off. They, Your person did not review everything. Dealing with this person. They thought they was their true love. Let's keep going. Oh. It is safe for you to love. Came in reverse. So it's not safe to let nobody move in your house. Or why you not moving. Or why. Uh. You feel like you need healing from the world or you kind of overwhelmed with things. Okay, so this person is emotionally distanced from you uh, with this ten of pentacles. And this could be even you. you emotionally distanced from this person. Yeah, you could be emotionally distanced from this person. It's on the horizon. This is you, right? And you emotionally distanced and distant. You don't care. Because of these third parties. And it's a yes for you to put things to an end. Intimacy in reverse. But they trying to balance it with intimacy in reverse. Maybe they trying to balance it by not giving them intimacy. Or maybe you balanced it with not giving this person no ass. And I feel with religion, no ass. Without letting this person hump on you. Uh-huh. Uh, didn't want the private part. You canceled the appointment. Religious factors are in reverse. Yeah, you don't want to fuck an a idiot or some demonic. Or you don't want to be tied up to sex. You want to be up and motivated. You want to feel good. That's what you feel when you have sex with positive people, negative people. They will bend you up and drain you because they not focused on pleasing you. They focus on some dumb shit. That's why you got to really ask yourself, do you really love this person? Or are you in, in a fucking delusion where they haven't even showed you they love you? So that you could think clearly and know that they might do think they love you. But that it, it's not true. Now you could break this delusion y'all both are in. And look at shit for what it is. Some of y'all get that. That's why y'all was waiting on this bastard to show y'all that they uh, that they love you. They don't love themselves. That's why they can't even get the 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 bullets, the guts, you know, to put in the gun to shoot the animal so y'all can eat. Like you know, this motherfucker is weak. <laughs> Give me that. Yeah, this motherfucker was weak. They healing. They want a new beginning. And what? They, uh. Wait a minute. Oh. So this person. This water sign. They choose, okay, so past life relationship came in reverse. So this water sign want a new beginning with, uh, it is safe for you to love. So that's in reverse. See, that's why that don't make sense to me. Okay, so this water sign has met someone that's not from their past. They came in reverse. They want a new beginning with because I like how they gonna want oh. Okay, let's keep going. They want a new beginning with. It's gonna be a yes that they put things to an end, but they using manipulation and they're in karma to do it. Um, they want someone that's where it's not even safe for them to love. Reverse. They haven't, they don't want to move or change houses or partners. That's why you, separation is on the horizon. 
they want to get with someone that um, stresses them out or they need healing from or uh, manipulation is this person won't plan nothing. They haven't they haven't planned anything. They haven't healed. They haven't rejuvenated. So they went to a rebound. Are they going back on a rebound? Maybe because they can't find no one else to put up their shit. And they're healing and being more emotional. But they feel like it's worth the wait. Makes sense. So this person is interested in someone new and they still manipulating to get it. And things I feel like if they're not announcing, communicating, or that's the communication you're going to find out or get or you're getting from me that that's going to come to an end as well because they manipulating and they in karma. This could be the one came in reverse but they think it's a yes because of what the honey honey the busy bee they 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 gonna have to get busy they want to put their energy into someone and it's put things things are going to come to an end yeah because they're going to use manipulation <laughs> they're in karma because they ain't take care of their kids or shit that's way beyond you. And guess what else? They want unrequired love. That's the communication. They want unrequired love. With someone that has no religion factors. The sex is in reverse. It ain't shit. And they gonna try to manage that. So that's why they think it's true love. But they didn't review everything. Scorpio Taurus. Big sign. And uh, they trying to prevent a time moment. Woo! We doggy. So that's why now the third party is upright. And they going over there trying to prevent a time moment with their finances, gambling, or people they owe money and shit. Or from them procrastinating. Yeah. That's why you getting your money. You happy. You on the distance. And um, separation on the horizon. Okay. We could go on and on and on and on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going while we still have time. I want to do some past energy. You know what I got to do. It won't take long. Honey, honey, push that like button. So this is what they're going to communicate. This is what you're going to find out. Got it. This is what you don't know that's going on to me. I pull current energy. So when you come to me, I'm going to tell you current energy. And of course, I can tell you of the energy off the current energy that's what i'm here for okay that's what's up okay what we got all right just want to get that out of my way let's see. so let's see we're gonna roast the asses so your person is Trying to talk to someone else to avoid a tire moment. With not just you, but taking accountability and doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah. They're not using their intuition with that purple in reverse. And they're going to be broke as fuck. Remember, things going to come to an end all over again for them. And they, gonna, and they want unrequired love. They're going to be triggered. Because this person, you know, negative people do the same shit. Positive people go through the same shit. We don't do the same shit. That's what make us different. That's why when you come across our sign, you can't predict us too much if we are high vibrational. We change. We're always growing like a fucking plant. So this person going to get triggered because this 
nasty. Um, this person that's trying to balance things with sex. This person that's just going to want to probably fuck Netflix and chill. Buy the kids something to eat. School clothes. Do the same basic low class demonic where dreams die and multiply. Baby kids and shit. They going to want to do the same shit. Yeah, it ain't gonna be no motherfucking red flag cause you know better. <laughs> Ooh, they know better than this. I don't know what the name this motherfucking video. I hope you watch it. It ain't gonna be no motherfucking red flag. They know better. They are narcissists. You know they are narcissists. You know that they're gonna be dealing with the narcissist. And just imagine if you thought they need to get on your level or they was behind, because most narcissists are not usually on the level that they're supposed to be on emotionally. So just imagine if they could trick and deceive this person with new love, that this person, another person, is just as dumb as they are, or the same person that they have not moved back from, or they tried to get back with. It's just more stupid, because narcissists get worse. Because life goes on, things change, and they can't emotionally adapt. That's why you see some old mean motherfuckers and y'all think that shit is cute. And yeah, you're not a motherfucking simp. Yeah, these people need self-care. That's what's going to happen. They looking for somebody, one, excuse me, to cure them. They looking for someone to buy them clothes. They looking for someone to give them the car. They looking for someone to make them look like they normal. They looking for someone to say they got a dog, a cat, a pet, and really someone else is taking care of in the background, but they taking the credit. Looking like a good mother, father, son, daughter, niece, nephew, aunt, uncle, nephew, niece, whatever. The point is, cousins. They looking for somebody to cure them, to make them look like and feel like there's something they're not, and they're not feeling that. And that's what they're going to feel all over again. And while you over there riding around in the cure, sleeping on the cure, eating the cure, being the cure, speaking the cure, teaching the kids the cure, the formulas... They over there with a the motherfucker doing it all over again. Do it again. Let's do it in the morning. Sweet something in the summertime. I don't know the words. Just love. Bullshit. Let's do it. Just give me. Just give me good love. Let's do it again. Do it. Yeah, that's what they doing. Do it again. And this is why you the motherfucking champ. Because these hoes ain't no red flag. You already know they miserable and that they going to be steady triggered, not just by you moving on, but the new person that they want to deal with. They need self-care and that's just end of discussion. You not a simp? I feel like they said they this person want to have sex with you again. So why that penis is in reverse and it's going back the other way and it's a little man up in that penis? A little pilot. You got control of your private port and they don't. And they use their private port to get what they want. And I guess what turns them on is bitches are women, men, dudes, guys that are just what they are. Bumps on the wall, flies on the wall. Yeah, they not privileged. And that's what, why you, there is no red flag. They gonna let you know that they not shit. You, they gonna let you know LGBTQ what the fuck you do ain't nothing rare about them and this is the last one and I hope you have a good day y'all I was gonna try to do okay we got time to do some background yeah nothing rare about this love bombing and shit it's nothing rare that you are a trophy husband wife and material and they see you on your shit and there is no flags cause bitch you just gonna get caught the fuck out who gives a fuck if you're narcissistic it's not a repeated cycle. <laughs> it's not reoccurring over and over again. Do it again. Get the fuck out of here. Let's do it in the morning. 
something. She say, just loving you, baby. Something with you, something sweet loving with you next to mine. I don't know what she say. So let's look at the past energy and see why they decided to uh, go just live with someone else and try with uh, lies and manipulations. And now they trying to balance that and trying to uh, prevent a tower moment with sex. Yeah, so they was with they went back to someone or never left someone because home and partnership was in reverse. They didn't change, so it's disorder around there with this person. So this person is not in leadership that they're dealing with. This person uh, don't have the confidence. Now even when it comes to work, and it's not a secret with this moon that this person have no con. Courage, or they like attention in the wrong way with this Leo in reverse. They lie. They're lazy. They don't use their intuition. Okay. Yeah. They want to take some kind of action. Ooh. So you could have had a Leo. Aquarius uh, not using their intuition as well because I don't think this was your int I don't think you was lying and being uh, strictness and uh, maybe you was going through some strictness if this was your energy maybe because of a Leo imposing their values on other people and you took some kind of action maybe it wasn't Leo but it was some weak person and you took some kind of action It speeded up some kind of process. Because you got into it, I can energy. So this is what made this person, I got you. This is what made this person want to just go and try to manipulate and fuck with someone else and try to avoid a time moment. Because they see that you was under some restrictions. You made some kind of action. And you um, avoiding tragedy. That's what you was doing, trying to balance with that uh, angel, earth angel. Yeah, you was probably dealing, or these people, this Leo was dealing with some kind of anxiety, negative, negativity, unhappiness, stress, burden, focus on the past, subject of gossip. You could have been the subject of gossip while you was going through some restrictedness. Yeah, but you made some beautiful change. You poured that shit out. You avoided tragedy with this person. That's why they're doing these things. Got you. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, you was avoiding a page of pinnacles in reverse. A person that was bad news, a party pooper, someone who does not appreciate you. That's what you avoided. So now they over there doing it to someone else. Or doing it with the same person. They want a new beginning with the old person. Refusing to compromise. That's what you was doing. Last motherfucking one standing. This is beautiful. I have time to finish this long ass read. And I really hope you enjoyed the QT, honey. The quality time. You too. LGBTQ. What the fuck you do? Yes, you made a decision. They couldn't make it, so you did. You didn't wait on them. You just kept doing what you were doing. I feel like you had your shit together or had your mind frame going before on what you was on track about before you even met this person or let them come back in your life. You was doing good. Gucci. So this person wasn't delivering much. You avoided change, and now you about to get married. You gonna make a decision. Oh, you refusing to not deal with people that's not thinking about marriage. People that's not wanting, you refuse to deal with people that don't want a long term relationship. And you could tell whether they lie to you or not. And like I said, you don't even have to ask. 
If you want to know what's up with the game, let me know. $20 injury, cash out me, PayPal. Let me know what's up in the comments. I really appreciate you for coming back. And I always welcome you to let you know you're always welcome here. But more importantly, I hope you feel comfortable with me to ask me anything. Honey, honey.